It's been more than 15 years since Hino bought out a new medium-duty standard cab range, but the latest model clearly ups the ante in performance, economy, convenience and class-leading safety. It also has some major innovative features around telematics. The new Hino 500 comes with three models, three cabin configurations, a large range of available wheelbase sizes and one engine but with three different power outputs. While you cannot get every variation in every model, there are still some 54 different possibilities to give you a wide choice. The three models are the FC, FD and FE. There are a few feature differences. For example, both the FD and the FE models receive LED headlights, daytime running lamps and fog lamps. But the main differences are the structural and engine options for each level. The three cabin configurations are a day cab, a rest sleeper cab, although the sleeping area is not spacious, and a crew cab. The wheelbase can be as low as 3.4 metres right up to 6.5 metres. Most wheelbase configurations have a leaf spring suspension, but on the longer vehicles there is an air suspension. The truck is rated as either 11 tonnes or 14 tonne gross vehicle mass. The new engine is a 5.1 litre direct injection diesel which is available with three power ratings. There is a psychological barrier for some potential buyers. The engine has only four cylinders, but it has an impressive pedigree. It is derived from the larger A09 six-cylinder heavy-duty engine, and a version also powered the RLE team's Little Monster race truck. But while there may be a romantic desire for more cylinders, the reality is that compared to the old 8-litre motor, this new engine has better fuel economy and there are less stresses on the main engine parts. Clearly, size is not everything. You have a choice of three gearboxes, a six-speed Allison automatic, a six-speed manual and a seven-speed automated manual. The automatic transmission will dominate, accounting for some 75% of total sales. Most of the rest will be manuals, while the automated manual will barely trouble the scorer. Fuel economy depends on many factors, but Hino believes that a 15% or more improvement over the previous model is possible. To add to the feel-good factor of this vehicle, it has the cleanest exhaust emissions ever on a Hino product in Australia. Hino also claims that 95% of the vehicle, by weight, can be recycled at the end of its life. Hino has made safety a very strong point of differentiation from other trucks on the market. The 500 follows some of Hino's recent other vehicles by making automatic stability control standard across the range. This feature is mandatory on passenger cars. The quicker it is compulsory for trucks, the better. There is no doubt that the stability program makes a big difference in reducing oversteer and understeer. but also from rolling over, which Hino has found to be more prevalent than many people might imagine. As well as vehicle stability control and a reversing camera, the 500 has a pre-collision system. If it detects that you are likely to run into the vehicle or pedestrian ahead, first you get a warning, then a touch on the brakes to get your attention, and then a full-blown stop if you are not reacting adequately. The system is designed to prevent a crash for speeds up to 50 kilometres an hour. However, over that figure, it may not prevent a crash, but it should certainly reduce its severity if the driver does not react in an optimal way. 
the brakes on the truck held up well under many repetitions of this aggressive braking test. The 500 has an all-new, better interior layout with a new smart multimedia touchscreen as well as new instruments and a larger LCD multi-information display. Hino also claims another first for a medium-duty Japanese truck of a multifunctional steering wheel. Comfort for the driver is enhanced with the newest version of the ISRI's popular driver suspension seat. Hino accepts that they are not the cheapest on the market and that the new models might typically be three to four thousand dollars extra, but they believe that you could recoup this in fuel savings alone, let alone the many other benefits of the vehicle. Hino has developed a special interface system between the driver, the vehicle and the management office for conveying and using of information. It's a pointer to the future. Digital technology is creating more information and making it more readily available. But there is a key safety issue. Good information is not helpful if it is delivered in a poor way. You do not want drivers being distracted, frustrated or even confused by the messages they are getting. Times are changing. It's not just turning up at the depot, getting your paperwork, then driving to the destination along a familiar route. It's much more dynamic, with drivers often getting variations to their instructions while they are on the move. And real-time traffic information means drivers can avoid trouble spots as soon as they develop, if they are aware of them, and the alternatives that are available. Hino's new information screen was developed by the Australian company Directed Technologies. It imports schedule or other trip information straight into the vehicle, such as into its navigation system. The driver doesn't have to stop or, more dangerously, try and enter a new address as they are driving. The system also gives truck-specific directions, defining the route, making allowance for the size and weight of the truck, and giving directions to the loading dock, not the head office front door. It goes further. One of the most expensive parts of delivering a package to your door is what operators and planners call the last mile, that labour-intensive cumbersome bit at the end. In the new Hino 500, the system is good enough for the driver to control a drone while sitting in their cab and monitoring it on their vehicle's screen. Why? In this way, they could deliver a parcel over a fence without struggling with a gate or even a dog. They could get an aerial view of the truck when parking or to avoid residential streets, park in a lay-by and send out a fleet of autonomous cargo boxes or even drones to specific locations. But these are just some things on the horizon. So, the new Hino 500, class-leading safety, better efficiency and technology that is pointing the way to the future.